this job to this day was my favorite. Favorite. So, I actually didn't even care. I just applied to this place just because I was applying to a bunch of places. And uh, they hired me like a month later. And it was kind of cool that the that the guy who hired me was, um, he was from Chicago. And I'm from Chicago, so it was like, oh, we got to relate on that on that aspect. But I mostly just wanted to play DDR there. They had a freaking a, a pretty good D DDR machine. And uh, although you weren't supposed to play while you're working, <laughs> you would try and find opportunities. My like, like a low a low boss would challenge me all the time to DDR. You know, I would beat him all the time. But he would also challenge me to Big Buck Safari, involved shooting animals, and he'd destroy me. And he always make fun of me. He'd be like. Oh, dude, you suck, man. I totally whomped you. I'm like, I don't do that to you when you lose in DDR, even though I totally destroy you. But it was kind of fun either way. Everybody just kind of had a good time. So it was a bowling alley. Uh, even though I didn't work, had to do anything to do with the bowling, uh, there was the arcade. And so in the so I worked in the games department, which included the arcade, mini golf, included uh, this like roller coaster simulator. Um, a laser tag so I got to be part of all those things and so there's like these little stations and somebody had to work at a station and uh, they had to like move around and rotate and stuff so pretty quickly while working the job I think within like three months they promoted me without a raise but but I still loved it to uh, what they call the G GA game attendant which doesn't sound really impressive at all but of, of all the games people there's usually like a, a handful of people there's one that kind of like manages that group even though there's like another manager that manages like more of that but I was kind of like I became like the kind of immediate of my peers became their kind of like boss there's always like there's always one on it was like a uh, boss on duty so there are other ones that could be that as well but each one was designated for like a shift or something like that so it wasn't that impressive, but oh man, did I love it so much. I would make little games to see whose position would be for the day. Because I always thought it was unfair. My other G GAs, they would, uh, whoever they didn't like, they would just send to the worst station, which always was this roller coaster, sim the roller coaster simulator. Because you had to stay in one tiny spot for however long they make you sit there while a line of people go in the simulator. And you had to awkwardly strap them into this thing there's like two seats there's this like seat belt that you have to fasten that's between their legs and so no matter what that moment is awkward just getting that close and touching that close like it's just terrible and i'm you know i've accidentally touched some crotches which is just it's just just yeah whatever so that's that position sucked so he would send people to that and I just hated that. I thought it was unfair. So I came up with a system that only people would be there for two hours max. You couldn't be there for all day. And it would be a random or whatever was more convenient. So it was more fair. I tried to, do, I tried to be as fair and, and as fun for my coworkers too. Like to determine whose position it was for the day. I would take a bunch of different colored golf balls from the mini golf. Bring, go into laser tag. Laser tag is this two floored up. Uh, place is a bunch of stuff and so I bring all my my fellow game guys and it'll be okay like this color balls this position this one's this position whoever gets the ball gets that position now go get them and I throw the balls like really far into the laser tag and they kind of like look at each other like confused like what should we should we do we just go okay we'll go so they just run scamper around look for the balls it was just so great make it fun I also made them play Floor's Lava in the laser tag room and have a race. So whoever got to the end without touching the lava gets to choose what position they had. Man, I was like the funnest boss ever. I also abused my power in different ways. Like uh, in a, there was a crane game and there was like a hot girl just like playing it. And she's like trying to get this stuffed animal and she's failing. I just kind of like I kind of like smoothly walk up there. I'm like, oh, you're looking for, you're trying to get that. You know, I, 
you tried hard enough. You you could get us. I'd open it and give her the stuff. And she's like, oh, why, thank you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm so cool. <laughs> you know, it was such, so lame. And, um. Uh, and yeah, the stories. We all hung out as friends too. We were just like a really nice camaraderie. There's some inappropriate stories, but I'm not gonna share those. Um But the one inappropriate short story I will share is that I smoked a lot of weed while working there. Dirt like in in the place. They had this like little side room where you'd fix the uh the laser tag vest. I don't know why I would I had the only I was the only one with a key at the time to open that. So I guess because it was safe. I smoked in there, but it was also pretty obvious because it's a small enclosed room and it's going to smell like really bad. So <laughs> I was smoking there sometimes. Actually, it was better when I smoked in the laser tag room because there's this vent on the, on the ceiling. So I just kind of like smoke and it didn't go up there. But customers who were about to play laser tag, they're like, as I'm t teaching them like, oh, you have to do this to shoot and blah, blah, blah. They're like, Wow, it smells it smells really dank in here. Did some, do you guys need to be smell that? I'm like, oh, haha, trying to like laugh it off. I also was really goofy when I would teach people how to do laser tag. I would like do voices and use. I would always use a, a golf club to point at things and like kind of do like Willy Wonka type of gestures and stuff. Um. So, oh shit! Oh no! Totally lost my little frame. Okay, sorry. There we go. Um. So, yeah, that was that was a great job. Also, uh, but I eventually got fired for a dumb reason. So I had a game card that had infinite games so it didn't matter what the other people's cards had everybody else's card was like limited but mine was unlimited so it didn't matter so i didn't care about collecting money on my card but uh just for fun everybody who would recycle the old cards so the, basically there's this bin and people throw down a card when they're done with it just customers do and uh and then you have to recycle these cards. So you, you take the card, you clear it on the computer, and then you put it in a box to be reused. But sometimes there were a few credits left over, maybe even like $10 or like 25 cents or something, um, and tickets too. So we would just, for fun, like collect them all onto one card, compile them all into this like master card. Um, so I'd have like hundreds of dollars on a card. You know, it didn't matter because I had an unlimited game card. So it didn't matter what money I had on my card. I guess I could, in theory, like sell it or something. But I never did anything bad with it. And everybody did this. Everybody collected money in the cards. It was kind of like we would show off each other how we'd, what we would do. Other people would buy things with the tickets, but I never did anything like, like that. But one day I got, when I go into work, all jolly, all jolly, like la la la. <laughs> la 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 la. I love my job. Ma ha ha. They bring me to the office. And they're like, we have all this paperwork that shows that you've been stealing from us. We could press charges if we wanted to, but if you just hand over the cards, then we won't do anything. And I'm, I'm literally crying, like, because it's like they're like threatening me and stuff. And like, I know I'm fired. And so I like, I, I give them my card and I leave. And I'm just like, uh. And then as, as I'm leaving, the, the guy runs up. And this is the guy who hates me. He just. Every other manager loved me, but the general manager just fucking... He always hated me. I, I have no idea why. So I feel like he was out to get me. Because if everybody did this, why didn't they fire everybody else? They only fired me and this other guy. So I think they just used it as a reason to fire people that they didn't like. But as I was walking out and, like, crying, he, he's like, whoa, whoa, hold on. So don't... He's, like, smiling, and he's like, don't tell anybody <laughs> that we're doing this because we want to get more people, Okay? Okay? Like, why the fuck would I honor you if you did this shit to me? I mean, I didn't say that, but... And I eventually, there was this, like, internet site that we used our schedules and stuff. And so I wrote, like, obscene things because I was fired. Because I still had access to it about him. And uh, and then I finally was kicked off that site, which is cool. 